My name is Karen Mondora. I'm the Public Services Director for the City of Farmington Hills, and Public Services encompasses our DPW, snow removal, uh, winter maintenance, the engineering division, um, facilities maintenance, road construction, those types of um, types of things. So I did have a pamphlet or a brochure on the table over there regarding this topic. Um, we wanted to get out and talk to as many folks as we can between now and November just to let you know that uh, there will be an item on the November ballot uh, for consideration of a 2018 local road funding transition proposal. Um, so I just want to give you a little bit of background on the city's system. We have local neighborhood streets and we have major roads. The major roads are your mile roads like um, 14 mile, 13 mile, Drake Road, Halstead, and then you have the local streets, which are the ones that are interior to the neighborhoods. We have about 243 miles of neighborhood roads, and um, we do a pavement condition assessment every two years that tells us what the uh, current condition of those streets is. There is a statewide standard called the PACER, which rates the roads. PACER is basically a pavement asset management system that rates the surface condition of the roads. Um, one is a road that is in completely failed, poor condition, and a 10 is a brand new road. So um, on the scale of one to 10, of the 243 miles of neighborhood roads, we have well over half of them in poor condition currently. The city's charter, which is the constitution by which the city operates, was established when the um, township became a city in the 70s, requires that neighborhood roads are reconstructed and um, the costs, how the costs are set up, how the, those projects are funded. The charter limits the city to contributing only 20% of the costs of reconstruction. The rest of the cost has to be spread to the benefiting properties within those neighborhoods, and that's up to 80%. On average, those assessments are 10, have been 10 to $20,000, and they're payable over 10 years. So while this system may have made sense in the 70s, as time has gone on, construction costs have gone up much higher, much faster than that of um, inflation. Um, this is an, currently it's an unpopular process. It's time consuming. It can take several years just to get through the public hearing process and the informational meetings before we even are able to begin construction, if at all. Um, it's emotional. It can create, it, cr the assessments create a lien on your property once they're established. So over that 10-year period, if you try and sell your property and there are still um, assessments remaining, typically the lender uh, requires that there's a clear title and that assessment needs to be paid off. This is a map of the city of Farmington Hills with our roads on it, and it illustrates the pavement condition. The poor roads are noted in red. And the good roads are obviously fewer and far between in green. This is a map of the roads rated in poor condition with a PACER rating of less than four or less. And you can see it's a widespread issue. It's not limited to one particular area of the city. We have poor roads all over the place. This slide is um, what you'll see on the ballot in November. It's for a perpetual millage of 2.75 mills, up to 2.75 mills, which would begin in July if it passes and would generate $9.2 million in the first year. And it also provides a mechanism for transitioning away from the SAD process, the special assessment district process, to the millage. So right now we still have folks that are paying on SADs, they're paying as assessments, so this would provide a process in which we could take that debt off of those properties and um, any remaining debt, and um, the city would take that on. That way, they wouldn't be paying both an assessment and a new millage. So that's the thought process there.
the graph on the left is an illustration of the map that you saw earlier. It shows that we have 55% of our roads in poor condition and only 22 miles or 10% of our roads in good condition. If we do nothing, if we have no more investment over the next 10 years, 93% of the roads will end up in poor condition in a, after a 10 year period. So that's a projection done by our engineering consulting firm. It's a third party independent um, report. If we invest $10 million per year, the model predicts that we will make significant strides um, in the pavement rating. That's the chart on the far right. This is the same information in a line chart. Our current average PACER rating, that's the pavement rating for local roads currently in 2018, is at about 4.5. And um, again, the do not, um, zero investment shows that the um, overall rating will drop significantly. And then if we invest $10 million per year, it will improve to six and a half. So we have 22 miles of gravel roads in the city of Farmington Hills, and this, um, this uh, transition plan, if it's successful, would include funding for um, neighborhoods that, live in, that have gravel roads that if they have the majority of the folks that want it to become paved, they could submit a petition to the city to be put on the capital improvement plan, and we could convert those from gravel to paved if there is um, the majority in favor of that. Um, they are not rated on the PACER, there is not a PACER rating for gravel roads. So this is a table that shows what 2.75 mills would look like um, depending on the various property value of the homes in Farmington Hills. So the average Taxable value is $90,000 with a market value of $229,000, and that would be an annual payment of $247. We have a web page on the city's website specifically dedicated to this topic, and there is a calculator on there where folks can put in their property address, and it will pull your taxable value right out of the city assessor's website uh, database and give you a projection for the first year. So I encourage you to go to the city's website and um, look that up. We also have frequently asked questions. Um, uh, these maps are located on the website and then also a list of phone numbers should you have more questions, um, as well as a calendar of additional meetings where this topic will be discussed further between now and um, November. This is a chart that shows the 2007 tax rates for various cities and townships in Oakland County. As you can see, um, Farmington Hills is the 12th lowest rate right now. That's the line in blue, 14.65 mills. And with an increase of 2.75, it still puts us uh, near the center of that range. And that's all I have for you tonight. If you have more in, um, questions or you w are looking for additional information, you can reach out to the city manager's office, myself, or the finance director, Steve Barr. And as I noted, we have information on the city's website. And uh, please pick up a copy of the brochure.